What up, guys? What's going on? Holy crap, is it hot. It is really hot today, guys. Wow. I combed, I even got my hair wet and combed it, and it's dry now, and I'm sweating. Uh, heck yeah, I'll be in your team speak channel. All right, Grim Reaper. Um, I'm also deciding on some things. We were talking with uh, CGN, Collection Gaming Network, and uh, we might be having a conversation with them here in the chat, guys, or, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, these guys look pretty cool. Uh, they want to promote more of our channel. <laughs> I still can't beat Queen B. Oh my goodness, Super J Dog. Oh my goodness. I know it didn't help that yesterday uh, when we were off, like I was off stream. I was literally trying to calm down from the past stream. I ended up being really tense yesterday, and I felt that if I was streaming yesterday in a bad mood. All of that negative energy would have totally come out on stream, and I would have just been fluff this, fluff that, you know, I don't give, you know, I would have been totally aggro all day long to not only you guys here in the community, but to my own friends and the people I was playing with. So I literally took the one day out, like, hey, I, I gotta stop, you know, I, I can't stream today, I need to try and calm down as much as possible. And it worked. I hung out with uh, Super J Dog and a good friend of mine that you guys saw the other day, Death Spartan. And we kind of just BSed around and just sat and played a game. Yeah. Yeah, that still sounds dirty. I know, right? Uh, like, it was bad. Um, I, I just I couldn't bring myself to do that yesterday. Not only to you guys, but to myself. I feel like that would have been terrible on the stream. Um, we are still waiting for CGN. I just tweeted them like, hey, uh, you know, when can we get together? They said any time. And I'm asking them, is this going to, are we going to talk via Skype or are we going to talk via, via chat? Pikmin lover. All right, so let's see. Who is, who all is here? So I have myself and Nostalgia and Nightbot. We have... F you, Grim Reaper, 1979. Thank you, my friend, for being here and hanging out. Deluded Raven, Darinus 2, Leah Justice, Pikmin Lover, 1015, Sheep Lover, Super J Dog, 123, and the Jimmy Costner. What's up, guys? And thank you for coming here to hang out. Yeah, I don't blame you. Everyone needs at least one day. Usually, this is what I do. This is what I do to relax and have a good time. I love gaming. Like, my wife can attest to that, and I'll sit down with you guys. We did the ARC streams. I'll sit down in a game and get lost for hours, for a day or so on end. And that's that's what ARC was. That was awesome. Uh, try fighting two Queen Bees alone. Yeah, I know. That that was not my fault, Super j Dog. That was Death Spartan. He got revenge on you for those gold coins that he lost in uh, Terraria. So, yeah, guys, my interest in Terraria is renewed. Uh, uh, I'm literally looking at CGN like, shall we talk via Skype? Or shall we do this during the stream? I'm live now and about to start some more Final Fantasy IV. Uh, I've been getting lost in the Secret World MMO. Uh, what is the Secret World MMO? We're looking at, uh, other, um, Otherland. We're waiting for Otherland to, uh, get an update, because I really want to check it out, and I'm hoping that the rig is, the big desktop gaming rig is back, so we don't have to just play the low-end games. Oh, he fell in the honey? Oh, that's what that was? But we at least need one day to not do anything but chill with family or whoever. Yeah. TheSecretWorld.com. Okay. I'll, uh, you guys might catch some jitter. I'm going to load up the page. Please don't catch tons of jitter. All right. I'm going to leave this in my uh, games folder. Or better yet, 
I'll just new folder checkout. Hit save. Um, crap. Where did that go? I want to manage bookmarks. Bookmark manager. Okay. What does this number mean? V1 or VII, that's seven. That is seven. V is the Roman numeral for five, and I is the Roman numeral for one. As long as it's uh, the ones are ahead of the bigger number, then that's an addition. Now, if it was I and then V, you do a subtraction there. So IV is in reference to four or you could have four eyes but they made it shorter so you could just have two letters that kind of thing um skyforge releases july 16th it's also a new mmo i've been seeing that our friend ro phoenix has been playing the crap out of some of that um he's got me interested in it however i cannot pay to play these games until we have the bigger rig and a little more money on our hands probably like when I go back to college this fall. Um, Alright, so I've saved that. Let's move. Ah, that's right. Here we go. Checkout folder is going to be in Twitch. And we will just bring out the checkout folder. There we go. Twitch. Yay, I've kind of figured this out. There's like a, a new system here. All right, there we go. Done. Um, I don't know about you guys, but let's see, all mentionings of me. Okay, how about the conversation? That's still there. Um, okay. Oh, open beta for Skyforge is July 16th. Nice! Um, it will be free. Oh, it will be free on July 16th. Nice. Sister actually sent FF7 as a gift after she, she, she gave me Final Fantasy 3. Oh, dude, that is awesome! Congratulations! Um, who's excited about the remake of Final Fantasy VII from E3, guys? I really want to like see the new battle systems, the new level up system. Uh, obviously, a materia system would be amazing. Um, they did say that there's going to be a workaround on adjusting the uh, what you call it, the story, and that there's a rumor going around that Eris, the one who summons Meteor at the end of the original Final Fantasy VII, that she will not die which completely changes the story guys it will be completely different in some aspects but that's okay it's a new platform a new generation of games and guys that Final Fantasy 7 in HD that we got like sneak peeks and demos at I want that I want it as a fan I'm like yeah <laughs> So guys, we are going to get that. Is the sound getting weird for any of you guys? <laughs> yeah, that's a rumor. It's a rumor. Not for me. Sounds good to me, but then I have headphones on. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. I it's a reason for me to actually buy a new gen system. Okay. So, let's carry on. Um Let's see. 
CGN Social Network of Gaming or Collection Gaming Network uh, wants to talk to us again I don't know how this is going to happen today because we want to talk that to them as much as they want to talk to us um, yeah it, it's uh, if it gets a PC release we are getting it I don't care what the cost is um, I'll get it ah that's why okay got it Leah Justice um all right so I, I've got to look back at my Twitter let's see about them let's go to their profile um let's send a direct message I have questions okay I'm saying how do you guys want to do this I have questions and I'm sure you guys do too shall we do this live via Skype um, give them my Skype name Because we can talk during the stream, it'd be amazing. Um, yeah. Send. So there we go. How do you guys want to do this? I have questions. I'm sure you guys do too. Shall we do this live via Skype? Here's my Skype name. So let's get the game on if they call us during the stream that's fine I'm all for it and guys we're gonna be on for a little while today you know this is you know we're gonna go like we normally would so I have like my email up I have what did they send another tweet okay <sighs> let's go home let's go social media real quick let's look at this basically they said we would love to feature and promote you on CGN uh, collectiongamingnetwork.com slash index.php slash sponsorship is that what that is slash sponsorship dot html hey um if you grim reaper could you check into something for me um like just look at it and tell me what you think I'm gonna go to my channel Channel switched. What up, F you Grim Reaper? Uh, give me just a second. Uh, yeah. Like no problem, my friend. All right, let's get the game on. Game on! Game on! You know, like Wayne's World. And as always, we got some uh, Kickstarter Mountain Dew, guys. Some good stuff. And we have Ridiculous Mug. Don't worry. Ridiculous Mug is here. I'll show it off. Six cups of undulterated coffee. Did they seriously use the Shia LaBeouf video? Uh, who? Who's that? Who's that? Dude from Transformers. 
Oh, yeah, I'm saying who used it. All right, let's Just, get the game uh, going. CGN, if you scroll down their sponsorship page, it's right there in the yeah. green section. Ah. Uh, all right, so let's get the game going. I've got to... Ooh, better yet, I can just do it like this. We'll get it set up. We'll get it running. Minimize that. You know, we're going to get the, the show on the road, basically. So that way, all i got to do is switch scenes. The game is there. And you guys don't got to worry about nothing. Sound good? Good. All right. Get this up in the corner. Yeah. What's up, babe? Yeah? I'm sitting there looking at the sponsorship on here. Hell, I might end up signing up to get sponsorship on my channel because it's like they said ah. right there, tier one is for uh, well, the following between one and five thousand. You earn the ability to embed your streams and videos, get promoted and featured around our network and social networks, and receive an affiliate link to earn money. Yeah, yeah and that's what I was looking at, guys. There we go. There we go. We are all set. Do I need this? No. I've let them know that it'd be appreciated and other folks have questions as well. You know, people are getting interested in what you guys do, and I'm ready whenever you are. Phew. Bam! There we go. The tweet's out there, it's sent, you know, there's no taking it back. So, we are ready. We're ready. All right, guys. Close that. We'll leave CGN open. And I literally just have my Twitter, the dashboard, and uh, CGN's site open on the internet. Let's go to TeamSpeak real quick. Settings. Options. we got to adjust the push to talk button. There. Okay. Minimize. All right. Let's do it, guys. Let's do this. I'm going to lurk around a bit. Catch you guys later. All right, Darinas 2, you have a good one, man. You have a good one. Let's see. Where were we? Oh, that's right. We were just leveling up. Oh, crap. Might catch some more stutter. I've got to load up the Final Fantasy IV walkthrough. That was my one thing I forgot. My bad. Um, we went to Troya, right? Sword, claw, shield, Gaia hammer, wizard nose. Um, I don't think we got all that equipment. I don't think we did. 
Yeah, I'm here, Grim Reaper. Uh, I just signed up for him. Oh, yeah? I look at it like this. I may not stream all the damn time, but I mean, hell, when I do, if they can... How fast is the sign-up period? Is it literally a few seconds? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm already in. I've just got to go in and get my stuff set up, link in my Twitch and all that. Do you click the sponsorship tier or the get affiliated? Um, shit. I don't know which one I did. <laughs> Never mind, I found it. Uh, am I catching a lot of stuttering, guys? I'm sorry if you guys are having issues. Catching no stutter or nothing. Alright, I am signing up right now for their stuff. It's it's as simple as that. Um, Xbox username. Uh, I need to get mine back before I give them that. Uh, create account. And also, thank you, Leah Justice and Fu Grim Reaper for the hosts, my friends. It is very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Done. There we go. Um, I do want to edit my profile. Go to portal. Right? Nope. Nope. That ain't it. That is not it. Not what I was looking for. I'll just click me. Change. There we go. Choose a file. Um. Desktop. Stream stuff. Icon. Preview. No. Preview. No. Preview. That's it. Done. Basically, I'm editing my profile with them, and we're going to go from there. <sighs> huh. Yeah? Aww. Aww. Yeah. Let's see. Changes. Oh, you added me as a friend. Nice, Grim Reaper. Nice. Yeah? I'll tell you what, their layout's a little confusing. Alright, CGN says this on Twitter. I am driving down the road, but I'll be home soon. 
So that means, guys, we are going to have a Skype call and we're going to possibly have a conversation with Collection Gaming Network. That's totally cool. That's friggin' awesome. You hear that, F.U. Grim Reaper? Yep. Alright guys, so if you guys want to find me anywhere else besides Twitter and Facebook and Twitch, definitely just Google my name, GameKey. You can find all these different places that my name is attached to. It's kind of cool. Um, I didn't think my name would get out there this much, but it really has. Um, that's pretty cool. So, I'm going to message them back and let them know. I said, all right, thank you so much. Be glad to talk to you guys soon. Send. All right. Now we're doing this. We are doing this for real, guys. This is awesome. Um, I created an account. Um, it says manage Facebook. You will need to connect with Facebook before you can do anything. Okay, log in with Facebook. Okay. Congrats, game. Thank you, Leah Justice. Thank you. Um, guys, like, I'm ready to talk to these folks and have a good time. Um, manage Steam. Sign in through Steam. Sign in. Okay, Google. Sign in with Google to this one. Yeah. View my email address. View my basic stuff. Uh, uh no. What'd you do with it? Oh man. Oh man. The wife misplaced the money. Uh that ain't good. Why would you lose it outside? That's scary. Accept. All right, bam. Well, this might be that conversation, guys. That might be that conversation. All right, here we go. So, all right, we have the gear. Ooh, we got flame gear on. Um. Ooh, something that lo doesn't lower my defense too much. Um, wow. That would be really cool to put on, though. The feathered cap. But we want the mithril helm for the defense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did she get? She got the healing staff. Oh, the... Oh my goodness, the golden hair hairpin. I didn't realize that was an actual item. Sweet! And we missed, I think, the wizard robe, but I'm not too sure. We may have. Yep. 
Yeah, we may have. Completely. Alright. Um, I think I was leveling up, um, Rosa in here. I think that's what I was doing. We got the Earth Crystal, we came back there, we fought the Mega Sisters. Um, that's right, Journey to the Underworld. That's what we're doing now. Put the bow on Rosa, she's good at aim. Really? What about having a, a healer in the group? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, Mountain Dew. I can honestly say at least I, uh... Yeah, she has white magic. So Rosa's good at aim, so... Okay. Let's see, what happens here? I forgot what my counterattacks all are. Okay. Everyone's, like, super strong, except for Rosa. We are trying to get Rosa to, like, level 30, at least. I believe that's what the guide was called. But I also, you know, need eyes and ears from you. Oh my god. 1600? What? Wow. Sit. Gold Hunter. Oh my goodness. The Underworld. But how can we get there? Crap. Ah, that's right. We come from the south. Alright, we're eventually getting there. Um, as you can see, Cecil has pretty much reached that 2000 HP marker. And I'm like, heck yeah. However, everyone else needs to get up there already. Especially Kane. Kane is strong. Uh, is the sound sync weird? No. Oh my goodness. Look at them stats on Kane. Look at those stats on Yang. Wow, his strength just keeps going up. I'm going to tell them whenever they're ready. Whenever you guys want to talk, I'm ready. Uh, wait. You guys make it home? I'm guessing. Coral Whisker. Alright. Um, is everything... Okay, guys, answer this question. Is everything funky right now, or should I just restart the computer? It has been on for like three days straight. And I didn't bother to restart because I wanted to start right away with you guys. Nope, nope, that's the way I gotta go. There we go. You guys just want me to restart all together. All together, sorry. It's fine on my side. Alright, Leia Justice. Seems good to me. Thank you, Grim Reaper. The music's weird. How so, Pikmin lover? It may be that you need to refresh the stream or adjust your volume. It is 16-bit. You gotta remember that. Is the music too loud or is it too soft? That's what I need to know. Oh, you tried refreshing. Ouch. Okay. I don't know what to say then. 
Nagus, what's up? How are you, my friend? Alright, where is Sarah at? As far as level. She's 28. Sounds normal on my side, man. Okay. She's at level 28. We need her to be level 30. Uh, and I went and I got my affiliate link and shit set up over on my channel, too. I'll have to do an affiliate link uh, after the stream today. Yeah, Cecil's over there just leveling up. Doing all right? I am doing great. Today has uh, been an interesting day, to say the least. Um, we're going to be talking to folks that we didn't expect to be talking to, which is uh, Collection Gaming Network. They're cool folks. They want to promote the channel. And promote our con they want to promote our content, I would say. Leaving a computer on is bad. Not when not when turning it off and on consistently can wear out the parts. Not to mention I do that with my desktop. You leave your desktop usually running all the time. My laptop just cools down somewhat. My laptop just cools down. When we stream, it does get pretty warm. Um, that's because it is doing a lot, especially with the stream. Yeah, Rose is 29. We need another level, guys. Yep. Deluded Raven, what's up, man? How's your night? Or I should say, how was your morning? I mean, I put it like this. I've worked in yes. IT for over 15 years and it's one thing we've always said if you have a machine that's constantly being used you don't turn it off because turning it off and turning it back on that initial surge of power you yeah. take a higher chance of a component failing on power up than you do leaving it on 24 7. Well, thanks for that uh grim reaper See guys, it's good. To, it's good stuff to know. And when you have friends who've been in a business like this for a very long time, especially with computers, and they, all they do is just want to give you information, it's very awesome. Heck, I even when I have my PlayStation Three, I even leave it on twenty four seven. Yeah, I have a one thousand watt power supply unit in my desktop. It's getting fixed through I buy power though, because the they switched out the motherboard. As far as I know, and they switched out the graphics card. Well, I'm not even going to get into the bronze, gold, silver ratings and power supplies. That's all bull crap. That's just crap crank up the price they're uh, diluted because I remotely moderate a server that is running a bronze, 80 bronze rated 1200 watt power supply that has been running 24 7 for over five years it, it really just comes down to the not the warranty but it's like uh how they use the parts, right? Like if they're gold plated and whatnot. Something like that, yeah. Not to mention, I mean, you look at the brand too. There are a lot of brands that are just shit brands. Meow face, what's up? Um, how are you? You got, you know, I mean, you got your generic brands. You've got your, you know, like, like um, I think it's C Tech, and C Tech makes some really good power supplies. Um, and they don't even get into the freaking rating on the freaking power supplies. They just make really good power supplies. Matter of fact, most server power supplies are C-Tech. Um, but as far as like desktops and stuff like that, I put it like this. I have a 750 watt Corsair HX750 bronze rated power supply in my machine right now. Nice, nice. I've had it in my machine for six months and it's been pretty much 24-7. And 
it hasn't even dropped a single watt in power outage um, since it was put into this machine. Yeah, guys, uh, like, the simple fact is, is, um, I can give you guys my PC build. I plan on putting that right back up on the panel on the page for Twitch when you guys view the stream. Um, I'll put all of my specs down there. You know, that's something you guys want to look at and check out. However, do it on your own. It's the best way to learn. I screwed up by buying from iBuyPower and learning in the hardest way possible, which is through consistent failure, how to build a PC. Um, quite literally, guys, Googling everything. There is Google for everything out there. If you don't know how to build a PC, Google how to build a PC. You will find the greatest videos ever through YouTube and Google. Not only that, but 99% of the time, they are all built right. You'll find that one that's like a... a a goof show. Hey, we're just gonna put start putting stuff together and not tell you how to do it. But that's that's far and few in between because there are way too many computer enthusiasts who don't want to break their their parts. So guys, uh, F you Grim Reaper here. If you guys have questions, definitely ask F you Grim Reaper here. And we have other members of the channel who may have already built their own PCs. So feel free to ask away. I'm pretty sure someone knows at least something. Never know what kind of parts I buy power is putting. Yeah, yeah, diluted Raven. I learned this. Um, I spoke with I buy power specifically. Um, I have a Corsair 1,000 watt power supply in. I have for graphics cards. They use Gigabyte and Power Colors. That's on the AMD side of type of things. Now, if you can go straight up Nvidia, and they use some good brand names of Nvidia cards. Um, however, it comes down to how much money you want to put into your machine. I specifically had a lot, a chunk of money. So I was like, yeah, we're going to go some high-end parts so I can stream the best way possible. Yeah, Alienware. That had nothing. Yeah. is owned by Dell and completely built by Dell. I buy power. They use off-the-shelf OEM parts. Alienware does not... Yeah, that's that's pretty much true, Diluted Raven. However, I'm speaking with the techs now, and it's basically like this. They have to test your machine before they send it out. They're not going to send you a machine that does not work, or else that is on them. And you could, you could possibly take them to court over that, for sending you a machine that doesn't even work on the first time. However, I have two more years on my warranty, and guess what? They can hear from me for the next two years. Um, it's going to be a very long time if, if that's how long it's going to take. Yeah. He's just up there. And yeah, that's the problem going through a company like that. Because see, a lot of people don't know that. Alienware is a lot, before they were bought out by Dell, they were a lot like Dell, HP, Gateway, you know, IBM, oh. Lenovo. They straight up mass build machines and sit them on the shelf. They don't care what parts go into them. Um, I know this. I've got friends huh. of mine that have worked for HP, that have worked huh. for Gateway, that have worked for Compaq, oh. Dell, um, and they've all said the same thing. When they, when you buy a machine from them, it's been pre-built and has been sitting in the warehouse for anywhere between four to six months from the time you buy it. Even though you go through and tell them you want a different video card and more RAM and different hard drives. They have separate areas of the warehouse that are set up barcoded systems for each possible configuration for those machines already sitting in their warehouse. And as I said, they've already been sitting there between four to six months before you even buy them. All right, Super Without J Dog. Cyber Power, Cyber Power Inc., a couple other companies that are out there, they literally hand build your machine when you order it and test bench every piece of hardware before it comes out of their facility. We need Rosa to reach level 30. Sorry. 
Hey, Sir Meowface, thank you for the weak wheat, my friend. I mean, it's still possible, like, you know, like what Game Key's dealing with with his, you know? You could still end up getting, you know, a bad piece of hardware, but you could still get a bad piece of hardware, you know, even from a machine that's been hand-built. I mean, you can go to a local computer shop, have them build you a rig, or even just spend the money on yourself on parts and get stuff from Newegg or Amazon or Tiger Direct, and you could still end up with a dead motherboard with DOA, you have to RMA the thing, or a dead video card, or bad memory. Cray Crack, um, how are you? Thank you for, you know, for being here, my two friend. three dead pixels that you're going to have to RMA back. It happens. It's not a perfect science, by no means. Hey, also, uh, F you Grim Reaper, um, I had a discussion yesterday with my friend Joe Dunko, the, the guy who actually worked on my PC just testing the parts um, that, I, that I know locally. Um, I had a discussion with him about OBS and how OBS captures um, the screen. Um, do you know any, any uh, information on how OBS captures? Because this comes down to... The discussion of what's up one high 30 the situation where when I was screen tearing OBS wasn't capturing that but if I turned my webcam around and showed you guys what I was seeing with my own eyes you could see I was screen tearing badly but OBS in the stream couldn't actually see that it was like uh, it was like it was an underlying issue that was sitting on top of my screen that could actually be the refresh rates on your screen. Um, what's your, what's your, or not your refresh rates, but your response times. What's your response times in milliseconds on your screens? Um, two monitors are one to two milliseconds, and the TV. I don't know what that technically is, but I don't have any issues. Huh. That that, that that's usually the main cause is response time, but one to two. You're golden with that. The only other thing I could think of is possibly maybe the GPU was is underpowered. Um, yeah, and that's what we were. That's what we were thinking. However, um, this comes into the situation where I had to let I buy power know yesterday. We did have a 24 pin that was plugged into the power supply unit. The clip that actually keeps it snug that was broken. And I don't know about the cables that plug into the power supply unit. I personally don't have a voltmeter to test them, but we thought maybe one of them was dead. And that the they we still could have had loose screws on the motherboard causing issues. Yes, Rose is level 30, guys. Um but that's that's where even uh you know my buddy Joe Dunko he can test all this stuff to find out if there's a bad component. But he had my system for two days running him and uh, his girlfriend since, you know, she lives five minutes from him. And he usually just stays at their house, her and her mom's house. Uh, basically, they both tested it for basically 48 hours and could not make the same crash happen. That sounds like... Uh, shit. He said maybe it's an environmental problem, which I don't That's understand I'm how. I don't understand the wiring that, that that you've got that you've got a plug, that you've got the system plugged into. Um, I actually had man, this is gonna sound weird, but I actually had a mobile home I lived in down in Georgia that on one of my outlets in my living room, if I plugged anything into that thing. I would have issues like crazy. Like, if I plugged in a TV, I'd start getting lines and shit through the picture. But if I turn around and ran an extension cord to the other side of the living room and plugged in on the other side of the trailer that was on a totally separate circuit, everything was fine. It could actually be some form of interference or even power spikes on that circuit that you're plugged in on. Would my APC unit, my battery backup for the desktop, wouldn't that catch it first versus the computer? It can, but I've seen it where it's actually been such a small um, 
over voltage where surge protectors and that have not caught it and it's went through um i'll put it like this if i buy if i if uh i buy power if they find out that your that it was caused by that by something like that because of maybe you know, like a power surge or something screwed with something with the power supply if they find that out and that's in the report that they send you after they fix it and send it back, you could get a hold of the manufacturer of that APC and with that and a lot of those APCs, the companies that make those APCs and um, surge protectors usually have up to a $5,000 equipment warranty attached yeah. to them. The, this, the warranty on the APC unit when I bought it through Amazon there's a lifetime warranty on the individual APC itself with an insurance claim already on it. And I thought that was very interesting on, on my end. I was like, wow, that's cool. And basically, this is something APC does for every single one of those, regardless of where they're sold. Yeah, so, see, I thought that was neat. I've even bought El Cheapo $20, $30 power strips from Walmart that come with five and ten thousand um, dollar equipment replacement warranties yeah and this one i believe has a five thousand dollar one considering my computer isn't worth five thousand dollars my my parts and stuff may probably add up close to four but i know i didn't spend nowhere near five <laughs> All right, Grim Reaper and guys, I told uh, CGN whenever they are ready to go ahead and give us a Skype call. Um, I believe they just got in, the individual who's going to be talking to us. So they just got home, you know, from driving. I definitely would not have encouraged them to be texting and talking to us, you know, unless it was hands-free. You know, I, I take driving seriously. It, it is uh, one of those important things to keep your eyes on the road, guys. Let's see, um, oh, the game, okay, the guide says to put our party in the low 30s, so Rosa may have just made it, but everyone will, reach, everyone will have reached level 40, and I guess we need to make her like level 32 or something, holy crap, vehicle is based on basically a two-ton weapon yeah <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> but yeah i mean if you got i mean i know you said before you got some pretty funky wiring in the house that you're in it's i know that could, that could cause some problems yeah like basically my my living arrangement i'm in a townhouse apartment guys but my apartments are actually world war ii barracks converted into apartments mm -hmm. So this is kind of cool. Here's that phone call, guys. If you need me oh, hey there. Call, feel free to pop me on Skype. Ah, will do, Grim Reaper. Thank you. All right. Oh, you're in the middle of the stream? Oh, yeah, we can talk during the stream. Um, some of these folks actually had questions as well. Okay. Um... Should I, uh, should I actually bring in uh, one of my mods? He, he checked you guys out. I tossed him the link, he checked it out, and ended up making an account, too. <laughs> oh, awesome. Is it the same person that was messaging me on Twitter? Um... Uh, hey, uh, Grim, did you message them on Twitter? Grim. Yeah. Did you message them on Twitter? Um, uh, no. I just did everything straight through the website after you posted the link. Uh, he just made uh, he just made an account on the website as soon as I posted the link to him. Oh, uh, I got you. Oh, I did. Uh, I've basically been talking you guys up because, you know, you guys reached out to me and I figured, hey, let's share it with the community. Well, that's awesome, man. There's not a lot of, I mean, we've reached out to 
a lot of people. Well, I have. Um, it's, it's basically all I built it for. You know, it's a social network, and then I combined it with a gaming network. It's basically like taking, you know, Facebook and shoving it with a gaming network together. So people have the ability to, you know, submit their live streams or their videos, and then it gets promoted through our system that I've built. So, oh, nice. Um, Deluded Raven, this, who I'm talking to right now, this is, uh, I don't know what you want to call yourself. I don't want to say your name out on stream. <laughs> it's, you can, you can say my name. Um, my name is Zeke. This is, uh, you said Zeke? No, just Zeke. One letter. Alright, this is Z from the Collection Gaming Network, CGN, that I was t discussing earlier. Um, basically, we, he reached out to us, and I said, hey, you guys may have questions. I know our moderator did, and he checked out their site that they gave us and definitely made an account before I even said anything. So, guys, if you guys have questions, let me know in the chat, and I will gladly re uh, restate those questions to Z here, who is more than happy to have a conversation with us. Um, I did notice uh, the website. I did see when I clicked, there was the sponsorship tier and affiliate um, affiliate link yeah there's a basically the way it was set up because I built the site about four months ago and with the oh, whole nice. sponsorship is that with the affiliate program you have the ability to send have your affiliate link and you give that out to people and as people join the website you earn points for referring them but you also earn 15 percent commission on all sales that are made so right. from anybody you refer, you earn commission off those sales. All right. Well, there you go, guys. There's the link that I was given. Feel free to go check out the website. Have a good time. If you guys want to, um, I guess, refer me. <laughs> you, um, you just have to put it as your affiliate link in there. And the second they click your link, they are automatically referred by you. Oh. It's an automatic system. Like, you know, they click your link and they're automatically referred. So. Okay. Um, here's our affiliate link. I know, super long, super long. You can short. I have a URL shortener that you can use as well. Let's see. Like, I want to. I wouldn't mind doing this. I am gonna have to make a little CGN like a uh, hot button. <laughs> After the stream this evening, I'll be, uh, if you guys don't mind me putting that on my Twitch page. Oh, no, we, I totally encourage it. Like, just about everybody. I said, you know, if, I mean, you, the, the point was if you, the more people you bring in, the more we can give. Because the more people we have, the better chance we can get larger. And it's going to give us the ability to help more people out. Okay. Um, I have, uh, friends in, YouTube uh, that that are way bigger than me. Um, basically, Shoe Nice being one of those folks. I believe he started gaming not too long ago, within the past couple of months. Um, the man is huge. If you know who Shoe Nice is, I, I do know Shoe. And like 483,000 followers on YouTube is ridiculous. That's I can only dream of those numbers. <laughs> but. I hope to one day get there, but with with folks that big or, you know, friends that are like four or five hundred followers like Deceptive Cobras guys or also known as Malavictus on YouTube before he made his Twitch YouTube account. Um, it's <laughs> you're friends with Shoe Nice? Uh more like we follow each other and just converse back and forth about his show and I do ask him questions. Uh, his documentary is very awesome. I mean, the simple fact that he wants to stop hunger around the world with his talent is probably one of the coolest things ever. And then his backstory of basically his family, not more or less his ex-wife, not being able to take the fame that was coming with what he does. Um, so he ended up like, he can talk to his kids and stuff, but he just can't live with them. That, that kind of was just like, ouch, like, that's how I get my heart shrinks, if you guys know what I mean. He, he ended up going homeless for a little while, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes he did. He went homeless, and then he ended up meeting and becoming friends with that hotel manager, 
who is uh, renovating the, uh, like, like bringing life back to those hotels that he owns. And Shoe Nice kind of like became a figure to bring people in. And that's just like one of those things you like. You don't think something good is gonna happen out of you know a joke or a stunt, and then it just keeps growing and growing. And then here you are, like this is what you do for a living. Shoe Nice is one of those people, guys, and it's pretty sweet. I got to give the man props. Like he just was like, screw it, let's do a stunt, and then it just blew up. So does CGN have crowdfunding opportunities? That's what a uh, deluded Raven wants to know. Crowdfunding opportunities, meaning like that you could use it as like a Kickstarter. That, is that what they're meaning? Like, use it as a form of a Kickstarter or as an Indiegogo campaign? You hear this, Deluded Raven? They want to know, is it uh, something along those lines? Yes. I mean, it's a it's a social network, while, while at the same time being a gaming network, so obviously you can post a status update uh, in terms of crowdfunding to bring in anybody from the community to help and support you. I mean, I, I haven't there, there hasn't been a system in place that was created specifically for crowdfunding. Um, but if that's something the community would want, it's definitely something that could be built. Now that kind of sounds awesome. You hear that, guys? The possibilities are endless. Being a social networking site, um, they're willing to take the interests of the community and possibly implement them into the website. That kind of sounds pretty cool. Well, I mean, just about anything that people have run across me, if if it's something that can be built and something that, that I know people will use, I try to implement it. I mean, it's it's main, it's just me. You know, I have moderators and a few other admins, but it's the whole site was designed by me. There's, you know, I've, I've done everything so far, and all the systems in place, I built them myself. So if someone says, hey, this could be a good system, I'll take the time out to build it and get it on the website as quick as I can. Oh, wow. I'm actually glad I made an account. Uh, where's the target link URL? Is this the shortened the link? The target link URL, that would be, let's say you want to refer people to a specific page. So like oh, you want okay. Them to go, yeah, you want them to go somewhere you would put a target URL there, and then you could make it anything you want. So the pay, the target URL doesn't even have to be the CGN website. It could be anything you want it to be. Cool. Um, I'm curious. I see the side panel there that says videos and live streams. Does this also link our, uh, our Twitch to the... Yes, so live streaming system... You go there, you click it, and you'll see all the live streamers that are live right now. You know, the system is set up using the Twitch API, so it pulls directly from Twitch and says, hey, this person is live. And if you click on them, you can watch them. Oh, and wow. And it counts towards your viewership, because they're all right there. And adding your stream is you just click the Add Stream button and type in your Twitch username. Okay. Hey, guys, I do have a question. Can you guys hear him well? or not because I could turn up Skype but I can't turn down the game music I don't think any more than what it already is oh I could turn it off there we go that works for now we can do that alright that works I can do this <laughs> um I did have a question the yes I can hear him alright sweet um, I had a question myself. The sponsorship stuff. Um, is this something that we would talk on a uh, personal level? Or is this like the community can hear and it's more of like a promoting your YouTube, Twitch type stuff? I mean, the, the whole, the sponsorship is not like 
one you would consider like if Red Bull came to you and said, hey, I want you to drink a Red Bull can on every one of your streams and we'll pay you a specific amount of money. I'm I'm not even out of high school yet, so I don't have oh. any money. <laughs> hey, well, congratulations on the website, man. That's We're freaking awesome. <laughs> um, in terms of the sponsorship, the best thing we do is that we have the affiliate program that allows you to make money that way and then i we promote and feature just about every single thing you do so like with on the live streaming system when your stream goes live the system will automatically tell the website hey this person is live right now and then it promotes that it says hey come check out so and so you can watch them right here you know here's all their stuff and it, it continues that system, and then if you tag us in like on Twitter or something with like hashtag CGN, it'll retweet that. Oh, nice! It's it's yeah, it's ready to go, you know. And it's I, I try to make it as friendly as possible. I know that I can't make it like ex super friendly because there's just so much. Yeah. But but I mean the fact that you guys are doing what you already are now, and you know you guys. Re not only that, the fact that you guys reached out to, to my channel, you guys have probably reached out to a bunch of streamers and other gamers alike. And yeah, I encourage it because I'm all for supporting other, uh, fellow streamers and broadcasters because it's what I do. And my channel loves it because when I go offline, you guys are just going to see a picture. You guys are going to see, you know, whatever my image is there. And... It's like, okay, well, that can get boring. Let's go find some other stream to watch. And it's like, okay, well, guess what? I didn't just pick this list myself. My community actually picked a list of streamers over the course of something like four or five months. And then we also had other streamers who checked us out. And we did the same thing. We added them to our host list and just said, hey, come check out the streamers that we host. You know, until the next stream, you may find a brand new streamer that you didn't ever know before until now. Yeah, it's a it's a great networking. It, it it's, it's the whole CGN website with the ability to add yourself to the streams, and then with the streamers being able to know like who is part of it. Like they can just check the live streaming page and see exactly who's live, how many viewers they have, what game they're playing. And they can network with one another. So what gives it the better than, you know, most of the other gaming networks is that you have the ability to literally socialize with the entire community. So you can network with yourself while we also promote you. Which is awesome. And I'm all for it, guys. You know me. I'm always all about supporting fellow streamers. Man, finding some really good items here. <laughs> So, um, do you guys have any questions? Uh, yeah, like, ask him how he feels about creating something that could potentially make him a millionaire. <laughs> well, no, see, I don't take any money. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that's the one thing that I started from the beginning is that I said I'm not going to take any money. The money is going to be used to put towards the website, and any extra money will be given away. Wow, you hear that, guys? He's not going to take Jack. He's going to use it for the website itself and then give the rest to, you said, what, charity? Um, well, I mean, we can do... We had some ideas as to how we could give the money away. We thought we could do charities. We could pop into people's streams and hand out donations when we have the ability to. We'll do what we can because it's, it's me, and then there's one other guy who helps me. His name's Trey, and... We, oh, wow. That was kind of the idea we had, is that we can just, just you know, go around and help as many people as we can with it. Because we didn't want to make it into a site where it was totally about just making as much money as we can. Because when we get into that aspect, it loses the genuineness of being a social network. It's no longer a network. It's about, well, if you bring me a lot of viewers, you're going to get paid a specific amount of money. And that's not fair. That's just crazy. Uh, at GameKey, basically giving back to the community. Yeah, that's that's exactly. I mean, that's exactly what I'm hearing. 
And, uh, you know, we have folks here saying, you're a genius, man. And uh, we have uh, Donate to Wounded Warriors. Uh, I'll be doing tomorrow because tomorrow being the 4th of July, we may be on a little later. But the cool thing is, is we're going to bring back our Operation Supply Drop page. Because we still didn't make our goal, but guess what? It's up still. It's going to be up. And let's do that. Because, I mean, it is the 4th of July. It is one way I like to give to the troops. And uh, you've heard, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Operation Supply Drop. I have, I have. And uh, I, I've I've known of Operation Supply Drop for a while. I'm the I'm the son of a military colonel. Oh wow! Congrats, man. Well, thank you. I um, my contract completely just ended. I as of uh, June seventh this year, my contract with the Marine Corps is completely oh, yeah. finished, and. Uh, I am now done, and I'm I'm happy with my time that I served. It's it's my contract's over already. <laughs> Which is it's just really cool. It's uh I like networking with other military members. It's it's definitely uh Operation Supply Drop. Uh, basically got pointed out to me through other streamers I watched and I was like okay well what's Operation Supply Drop and then I go check out the website and then I go look at their Facebook I go look at Twitter and it was the idea behind uh, what's going on in the world and how in real in real world issues and situations troops do need someone to to look out for and to uh, uh, how can I say, uh, they need something to take their mind off the things that are going on. And, and Operation Supply Drop is straight up doing that. Dragon's Girl is my profile. Nice lay of justice. Nice. And uh, I like the fact that not only is uh, your site affiliated with them, and, you know, just by, uh, you know, word of mouth or, you know, people you guys tweet to or they tweet to you and stuff like that it's it's kind of nice to check out another channel that complete completely supports the idea of what operation supply drop has in mind so again uh, again with the networking and yes this becomes a huge social forum but it is nice to see this it it's become a pretty big form pretty quickly. I mean, just about every day, I, I send, I, I read between somewhere to a thousand to two thousand emails, and respond to tons of people. Because it's, I, I didn't expect it to grow into something as large as it did. It was just to be a forum for three or four people, and that was all it was supposed to be. And then we got into watching streamers. Not well. I was a large YouTuber, and then it got into, well, now that I'm not doing this anymore, what can I do to give back? Because this system of being partnered with these larger gaming networks, that though they, they will pay you money for being part of the network, which is great, but there's no promotion or anything that comes with it. It's like you're just you're going to make money, and we're going to take our percentage, and then we're going to run on. It's like, yeah. Well, but nobody can talk with any of the other machinima members or any of the other tgn members you, there's there's no there's no cohesion there you can't you can't do anything with the rest of him can't collaborate or and i thought well we can make it a lot better we can do it on a simple level where everybody has the ability to talk with one another through the chat system which was recently released which is based upon the old facebook api if you remember the old Facebook chat system, they recently yep. updated it, so it's not the same anymore. But with on the site, you have the old chat system in there and allows you to chat with all your friends and people that you add on the site. And then all those friends, you're going to know exactly what they're doing at all times. Yep. Yeah, you got chocolate pudding? Oh, cake. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, shoot, guys, I got myself some chocolate cake. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, I'm all for this because it's it's definitely networking and socializing. Like you said, getting together and collaborating. I mean, you don't see a lot of people doing that. Um, you know, I use Reddit rarely. Um, I'm trying to reach out. I'm trying to grow. And it's really like one of the hardest things to do ever. Um, you either know people who are willing to sponsor you or you're just another fish in the sea who's trying to get known and out there. Yeah, it and it's a and it gets harder and harder by the day as more people join in. Oh yeah. And uh I've I've been learning this as I continue to keep streaming. You know, it is tough. People do show up. We have a good time. Um however with my situation with my desktop, it constantly crashing and having to go back to repair with i buy power literally puts me back at, you know, hey, day 1. And it's been this way since I started back in December. And I actually originally tried to start streaming in August of last year. Like, uh, August, August, September area. And I've just, I've only been able to keep it up with the use of my laptop here. Which has been a great, a great, uh, tool to use. But, man, it's, it's come in the worst, uh, in the worst of situations. You know, I, I I don't feel I should have resorted to my laptop, but if I hadn't, I wouldn't be here today, and I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't have this conversation with you guys, and I definitely wouldn't have all these videos up on YouTube like I have. <laughs> um, do you have any questions for us? I I don't. I ha I have no questions. Okay. No? Okay. Um, let's see. Anybody in chat, do you guys have any questions here with uh, Z? I'm pretty sure he's a, a busy guy. Um, you know, if, if we are taking up any time that you, uh, you know, you have to do other things, uh, let us know. Oh, no, it's fine. The only, the only thing that's being done today is... Once I get off the phone with you, me and some of the, uh, we run a lot of game servers as well. So, like, we have a big Minecraft hub. We have a very large unturned servers and CSGO and stuff. So, we're going to go work on that right after this. Okay. Okay, that sounds friggin' awesome. You hear that, guys? <laughs> he runs some servers, too, while he's at it. You, you definitely keep busy. Yeah, I do keep busy. Yeah, I... It, it's a it's a daily basis, but I, I enjoy it. You know that's why I do it because it's fun to continue to to make things. Hello. Z. You know this would be great to add to it, and it's like, well, okay, let's two or three days, and once we're ready to release, end of that week. Oh, nice. And uh. Let's see, we have a question here. What are what are some new things that you guys are implementing in the future? Or or at this point uh, thinking ar thinking of toying around with, I, w I would say. Toying around with um, such as like uh, what kind of new new systems are you guys going to try and implement? Uh, is there anything that you could think of that you might want to do? but just haven't yet? There's a lot of things that we want to do that we haven't been able to do yet because not not for the fact that we can't build it, but for the fact that we don't know if people would use it right now because of the size. So ah. once we were at a larger, we would we actually have systems in place that are on the back end that we would release later for when we had enough people to be able to actually use it. Nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. What are uh, some What are some things that we are going to see? Um. As he mentioned, guys, with the uh, 
with the use of playing around with it that this is a social network. You're you're just adding to what you already have, and you're bringing you're you're more or less bringing the focus of gaming to social media. So your Facebook, your Twitter, your 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 anything social media is getting attached to this, and this can be your big hub for your games and your your fun times along with the folks who are already here. Right. Within the actual profiles themselves, you can connect your Facebook and your Twitter and your Steam, and it will pull information. So if you post a status update on CGN and you connect it from your Facebook or your Twitter, it will actually send those status updates to Facebook and Twitter as well. Oh, snap. Did not realize that. I thought it was the other way around, that we were posting a status on Twitter or Facebook and it was going to CGN. It goes, it comes, it comes back the other way as well. Oh, that's awesome. Um, oh, here's a good one. What motivated you to do this? What made you wake up one morning and say this, that this absolutely needed to be done? And how did this idea come to you? Um, well, I, I guess I sort of explained it a little bit, but we started off with about three or four people, and it was one guy is gone now, and the other person is so I, I could would consider maybe on a hiatus. They never really left, but they never really came back. But okay. we we had a group that we kind of all worked together, and we helped other people. the The entire purpose of what we were doing at the time was to help tons of people as we could. And the four of us, it was working out great. Then we decided, well, let's make a website because it's it's something that we have the ability to do. So let's see if we can make it larger. So we made the website, and it was running out well. And then we said, well, we can make it even larger by turning it into a social network where everyone could connect with each other. So I took a little more time and spent making it into a social network. And then once I built it into a social network, I looked back on the way the gaming networks run and how like you can be partnered with the gaming network and you earn your commission from them and then they take part of your percentage and I thought well no we can do it even better because with the fact that we're a social network and make it into a gaming network we're going to be able to allow people to connect on a bigger scale than most of the gaming networks that are very large at this time don't have the ability to do so it's, it's continued to be an uphill, like, climb. Not really an uphill climb, but it's a, it's a constant growing thing. It's, it started off as a really small thing that we didn't expect to grow into something this large. It was just wanting to help as many as we could, and it's now that we're just kind of branching out into more and more things. And as the community comes back to us and suggests things that we should possibly add to it, we continue to add those. Because if someone says, you know, I love this system on this website, but if this system was available here, I would be able to use it and spread it around even more. So we put that system, or we use the API available for that system to embed it within our system. Okay. Um, we have another one saying, um, have you thought about adding a sort of achievement tracker? Possibly a way to integrate things from your home consoles like the Xbox One, the PS4, PC, etc. Well, that's a good question. There was a there is a leaderboard system that Microsoft has available. Now I don't know about Sony, but I know Microsoft has a system where you could keep track of the points and achievements that people gain, and it would be set up in the terms of a card or placed directly on your profile. Okay. I don't know if we could connect it to an economy system within the site itself, but... I figure something like in reference that you guys have the uh, What's Your Xbox One Gamer Tag. Um, maybe something like uh, possibly working with Microsoft to pull your achievements and being able to add them to your profile. Like, look well, at you, yeah, look at my game resume or... Yeah, the achievements can be pulled directly from your profile and placed within a sort of, like, profile itself. I mean, because Xbox has a profile of you, and it keeps track of your achievements. So the achievements can be pulled from the, the Xbox servers and s displayed on the profile of CGN. 
but we're going to have to talk with Microsoft in order to get something like that accomplished because they don't have that system available. Yeah, a lot of those things are exactly that, a sort of badge of honor. Yeah, and I get that. A lot of folks are like, dude, look at this. Before this game server went down, you know, I kicked ass and, you know, I, I got all the achievements where I got the toughest ones or, or the one you can't get because it was a special event. And I, I get that, guys. I know where you guys want to go with it, and I'm all for it. You know, and this is this is where, like he just said, trying to do that is going to be tough because they do have to get a hold of Microsoft. They do have to uh, make these things work. Well, with the Xbox One profile, you can go check out somebody's, you know, gamer tag and their list of achievements. Um, with the PS4, that's a little different. With the PC they on Steam, that system recently. Oh, they don't have a trophy system anymore. Well, they have the trophy system, but they actually removed the system that information could be pulled from it. They used to have cards, like you had your profile cards for Sony, and now they've removed those. So it was something that we used to have available on the site, and I had to take it away about two weeks ago. Wow. They had, yeah, they had destroyed it themselves. So it was coming up as just a false page that nobody could view. I didn't know that. Hmm. Um, well, it looks like I need to possibly get on my PlayStation at some point and check things out, see what's different. I know my PlayStation's going to need a heck of an upgrade. I haven't been on it in eight months. <laughs> it, they've, in terms of the back end, they've, they've really changed a few specific things and uh, really condensed down what the profiles used to be. So it's uh, some of the things that were available... I, th I think they want to keep things to themselves. You know, they're expanding themselves. So yeah. it, they don't want to expand themselves out to other medias. Like, they want to keep it all Sony-related. And having the cards available was giving other people the chance to take that profile and place it on another website, which didn't bring Sony any traffic. So they thought, well, it's not helpful to us, so we're going to remove it. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I understand that. And, uh, that's, I mean, that's just, like, crazy. Wow. <laughs> but Microsoft still has a card system. And if you check your profile, well, usually it's posted within the forums themselves. So all your forum posts, you'll see a little card available. And if you hover over it, it'll give a little more information about, like, whom you are, what your level is, things like that. Uh, it can be made much larger, but I kept it fairly simple as of now. But if it's something that, you know, people said, hey, you know, if we could have this as a tab within our profile, well, people could check it out. It's doable. Um, let's see. Uh, have they thought about a system along the lines of, like, a Roll20? Uh, you know what Roll20 is, correct? I don't. Um, it's more of, like, being able to use a D&D &D style game on on the internet and you could uh, as twitch has just recently been introducing um, excuse me basically it's the idea that uh, you can take these tabletop games and play them online with your friends uh, twitch has been doing this for a while with the Dungeons and Dragons style games um, I myself I take part in a game called uh, Rogue Trader, which is like Warhammer 40K's uh, world of D&D. &D. Um, this is by Fantasy Flight Games. It's it's not a bad website. Um, it's just the idea that a, a game master could implement maps along with a grid, uh, a, a grid across it, and you can implement your characters and move across this platform along with still playing the game. Um, I know it's a niche market, but a lot of people play tabletop games. A sort of streaming system with a tabletop platform could be interesting. I mean, we, we have a streaming system that is connected with Twitch. So, it's a possibility. If it's something that would be streamed locally through the server itself, that's not connected with Twitch or affiliated in any way... That would be 
a little harder. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what, what they're asking. Like, I, if, if it's a game that needs to be built, may, maybe it's, it, it would, it would take time to build the game. But if it's a game that's already available that could be placed within the server mm -hmm. itself, then yeah, we could, I could get it done. Uh, this should, this should give you more of an idea of what Roll20 is. I'll send you the link. Um, the Roll20.net. And, uh, it's just the, uh, the idea, like, it's actually really nice, but they do have a premium service that a lot of folks are like, well, why do I want premium if we can do all this other stuff without having to be attached to that? And I, and I get that. You know, I understand if you can use a lot of the services without having to use, like, the premium features or whatever the extra stuff, the content is, right. then, you know, you can get by with that. That's fine. Um, uh, do you guys, out of curiosity, because I haven't actually browsed your guys' website and I don't know everything, do you guys have a system in place where... Oh, what? Oh, do you guys have a system in place where... Um, you can donate to the site for other features. I I don't take donations because okay. I don't want to have. I don't, yeah, I mean, if if somebody said like you know I would like a feature built and they said and I'd be willing to hand them money. I, I guess we could possibly do it, but my thing is okay. I just don't want to take any money. Okay, I just and want to keep it where you know there's if the systems can be built and since I'm building them myself. I don't need the money to build them. Okay. Um, let's see. There was one here. Um, Deluded Raven's going to clarify. Uh, so you'd host uh, you'd host the stream, which is streamed through Twitch, but your website would offer an overlay. Like, you load the Twitch stream through your overlay, and you're able to set up the videos in the overlay, etc. That, I mean, that sounds So the cool. website would host an overlay. Like there would be an over like there would you, be an overlay over top of the Twitch stream. Yes, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm getting from it. There's no overlay. If if that's what they're asking, we don't we don't have an overlay on the site. Um, if pe if people wanted an overlay, which I, I it can be possible. Yes, we could do it. I'm not. I, I feel like an overlay would make it seem like we're trying to make it into CGN only. And like <laughs> it, it would display CGN, and I don't want it to just be CGN. I mean, the, tream, the streams are pulled from Twitch, and we want people to check out each other's Twitch instead of just visiting CGN about it. Yeah, um, I'm actually curious about this right now myself, personally. Um, as a uh, collection gaming network, do you guys have a Twitch page? You mean a streaming page? Yeah, we're like, like a Twitch team. Yeah, like hey, it's the CGN. Look who's being uh, featured here, and and, and well, going I mean, off we of have that. The streaming system directly on the website, which houses I think what we've got three thousand streamers or something, and you can watch all of them live. They're all right there. Um, we don't have a Twitch team. Because I'm not the system that which Twitch has their Twitch teams, the the person with the most viewers is automatically at the top, and that doesn't help the smaller guys out. Yeah, and that's people who are trying to grow, they they never get promoted because you only see the top four guys within the streaming page. So to better to make it easier, we do it by game, by viewers by random channels or you can also you can display it by your viewership could be from one starting with the guy who has the least viewers and then making your way down to the guy with the most viewers okay so it's the system is set up where you can you can view anybody at any time and if somebody has four viewers and then somebody 